let's try to find the sum of this right over the sum, or let's try to evaluate this expression right over here. So we're, ev we're evaluating what this, what this sum turns out to be. Now there's a bunch of ways to do this. You could literally just do it by brute force. You could see, well, what does this equal when n equals one, when n equals two, all the way to n equals seven. And that would be completely legitimate. But I view this as an opportunity to look at some properties of sigma notation. So let's split this out. So the first thing that you might say is, well, look, if I were to sum up all of these, if I were to, if I were when n equals one and then n equals two all the way to n equals seven, it's reasonable that this is going to be the same thing as the sum of the sum of three n squared from n equals one to seven plus 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 the sum from n equals one to seven of two n square of two n, I should say that right over there, plus, plus the sum, plus the sum from n equals one to seven of four. And if, this, if you find this a little bit confusing, I encourage you to expand both of these things out and realize that when you rearrange the terms that you will get these two things. I'm not doing a rigorous proof here, but hopefully if you were to expand this out, you would see that this is not an unreasonable thing to claim right over here. Now out of all of these, this last, this last piece is pretty easy to evaluate. When n equals one, this thing is equal to four. When n equals two, this thing is equal to four. When n equals three, this thing is equal to four. So you're essentially gonna take four, you're gonna take seven fours and add them together. So this is essentially just going to evaluate to seven times four or 28. Now let's look at this piece right over here. Now, we once again, we could just do it by brute force. Two times one is two, plus two times two is four. So you're gonna you essentially do the first seven multiples of two is one way that you could think about this. Or if, you, if we were to expand it out, actually let me expand it out. This is going to be two plus four plus two plus four plus six, all the way, all the way to, when this is seven, all the way to 14. You could factor out a two and so this is going to become two times one plus two plus three all the way to seven. And so you can rewrite this piece right over here as the sum, as two times the sum. So we're essentially just factoring out the two, two times this sum, which is a sum from n equals one to seven of n. So this is this piece. We still have this 28 that we have to add. So we have this 28, and we draw the parentheses so you don't think that the 28 is part of this right over here. And now we can do the same thing with this. Three times n, we're taking from n equals one to seven of three n squared, doing the same exact thing over, as we just did in magenta. This is, going to be, this is going to be equal to three times the sum from n equals one to seven of n squared. We're essentially factoring out the three. We're factoring out the two. N squared. And once again, we could put parentheses just to clarify things. Now at this point, there are formulas to evaluate, to evaluate each of these things. There's a formula to evaluate this thing right over here. There's a formula to evaluate this thing over here. And you can look them up. And actually, I'll, I'll give you the formulas if, in case you're curious. This formula, one expression of this formula, is that this would, is going to be n to the third over three plus n squared over two plus n over six, that's one formula for that. And one formula for this piece right over here, going from n equals one to seven, or sorry, let me make it clear. This, this n is actually what your, is what your terminal kind of value should be. So this should be seven to the third power over three. So it's not this n. I was just mindlessly using the formula. Seven to the third over three plus seven squared over two plus seven over six, so that's this sum. And this sum, you could view it as the average of the first and the last term. So the first term is one, the last term is seven, so take their average, and then multiply it times the number of terms you have. So times you have seven, you have seven terms. So what is this middle one going to evaluate to? Well, one, one times, one to, and of course we have this two out front, this green is just this part right over here. So you have two times this, and over here you have three, you have three times this business right over here. So if we evaluate this one, two times, let's see, one plus seven is eight, divided by two is four, four times two is eight, times seven, it's 56. So that becomes 56. Now this, 
let's see, this is actually, well, we could evaluate this if we want, and I guess we could, we could take out a calculator if we want to figure out seven to the third power. Actually, let's just do that, just to save time here. So let's calculate. So we have seven to the third power divided by three plus seven squared divided by two plus seven divided by six gives us a drum roll of 140. So this is going to be equal to, this is equal to three times 140. Let me do it in that color. Three times 140 plus 56 plus 28. That's 28, and since we get our calculator out, let's just use it. So let's see, 140 times three, that's the three times 140 is 420 of course, plus 56, 56, plus 28, we deserve a drum roll now, gets us to 504. So this sum, this sum right over here is equal to 504. And once again, multiple ways you can do it, but it's nice to know that there are these, there's these kind of ways to break down the problem. And there are all these formulas. Now I encourage you, I encourage you to look at the formulas to see how you prove how this is actually derived and proved. I'm not a big fan of just saying, oh, there's a formula for this, you just apply it. You know, the formula here is is whatever this terminal value is to the third power over three plus that squared over two plus that squared over plus that over six. I encourage you to look up on on our on our on our site, on Khan Academy, the formula for the sum of n squares, and it'll tell you where this is derived from. And also the sum, the formula for the sum of an arithmetic series, and it'll and it'll tell you where this is derived from.